What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, back with some more Ranked Singles Battles for Pokemon Sword. Before this video starts, if you do enjoy the Ranked Singles Battles and want to see more, or you just want to support the channel, scroll down a little bit, smash that like button for me, click that big red subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. So guys, in today's video, we're actually rocking an anti-meta team right here. It is a crazy team. I saw it online, got the rental code. Bottom of the screen if you want to use this team and I will leave links to the creator of this team because I did not make this team in the description below But this team I saw it. I was like yo this team looks awesome. It has a double in it You cannot see it. It is behind my face cam right now But yo, we're rocking leftovers double right here with sword dance zen headbutt wild charge body slide This thing could be a beast and this is gonna be my first time actually using this Pokemon So I'm very excited. We got ourselves a citrus berry grim snarl rocking in here, too He's a beast with that normal lineup of bulk up light screen spirit break and drain punch Then we got one of my favorite Pokemon's a Galvantula right here It is a bug and electric type and it is a great starter Pokemon. It's rocking sticky web so you can lead that out It's kind of like a stealth rocks, but it lowers the Pokemon speed once they come into battle So it's very good. It's a very good move. It's rocking energy ball bug buzz and thunder and it's focus sash So what a nice Pokemon. We got our choice scarf, Chandelure right here. Ooh, I love Chandelure. I just love his design and all that good stuff. We got ourselves a Wakanberry Gyarados right here. And Gyarados is so strong. He's always a good pick for any team. I love him so much. Then we got ourselves a Throat Spray como -o. como -o? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, como -o right here. And what the Throat Spray actually does is any sound-based moves, it will actually boost the special attack for it. So we got Clanging Scales right there, which is a strong dragon move. With the Throat Spray, it can absolutely murk. But like I said, guys, if you want to use this team or just check it out or anything, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But without further ado, let's get into this battle. Here we go. Hopping into our first battle. This guy is also rocking a Gyarados. Has his Ferrothorn, Mimikyu. He has his Rotom Fire Stove Oven Pizza Brick Guy. He cooks food and all that stuff. Cloyster and a Dragon Bolt. So first thing I want to go with, I'm going to bring in my double. With that electric move, that could be good. Or... Do we just roll out? I think we're going to start with a Gravantula. That could be good. Yeah, let's lead Gravantula right here. Or are we sure we want to lead Gravantula? Because he does have that Rotom, which could be nasty. But we're going to bring our Gyarados, Gravantula. And do we bring our Konamo? Konamo could be a great Pokemon to actually go into in this battle. Is that the plan? Is that the plan? Hmm. Or do we go with Choice Scarf Chandelure? Choice Scarf Chandelure could come up big. But I think we're gonna going to lead our, what's it called? Yeah, let's lead our Gravantula right here. Just in case he doesn't lead his uh, Rotom. I can see him leading his Rotom, but just in case, we're going to bring our Gravantula. We're going to put double on the side here. We're going to go Gravantula, Konamo, and Gyarados. Let's go. Let's lead off with this. I think he's going to predict that. I think he's going to... Oh, but Gyarados isn't a good choice. Yeah. Okay, let's just lead into our Gravantula. Go into our Gyarados and our Konamo in the back ends. But, yo, guys, seriously, thank you guys so much for all the support that has been going out on this channel. I wish I could come out there. Thank you guys personally. Like, everyone who subscribes, everyone who likes the video, or just people who come out and check out the video. Seriously, it means a lot. It goes a long way. But if you would like to see more ranked battles, or we're going to start shiny hunting soon, I may just made a bomb shiny layout for my Twitch streams. Link will be in the description below. Click it, Jeans25 on Twitch. I might be live as you watch this video, so check it out. If not, hit that follow button. Swing by later. We stream four plus days every single week. But cool, we do lead this grab branch. Like he is leading that Ferrothorn right there. We're just going to go into a sticky web. I think we're just going to lead with a sticky web. Sticky web is always a safe bet. I don't think he really has too many moves to either just start slapping on me. But we're going to go into the sticky web and then possibly hard swap out. I can see him going for a leech seed or maybe hard swapping. So we'll see. We will see, baby. I'm actually loving the way this team looks like it's something so off the meta and something that we don't really use It's just so cool like no dragon pulse in here and all that no hydragons like Mimikyu's out of here Yes, he is gonna go for the lychee like I said But yeah, dude, we're rocking double. I saw this. I was like, I gotta try this team I gotta try this team, but sticky web does come out It is gonna do some work later on when they do drop pokemon off here But we're actually gonna swap out our pokemon. Do we go into our characters? Or let's go into our como como beautiful What's his ability? Bullproof protects Pokemon from some balls and bomb moves. Okay, that's pretty cool. Would that protect him from Leech Seed? That would be cool. This thing could be rocking Gyro Ball. So, does he know we're Bulletproof? <laughs> but like I said, when Leech Seed comes out, it's like a little balls, but they're seeds. But they look like it. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Get a free hard swap off. Get a free hard swap, and now we can roll. Do we go in the... Mm. Do we go in the Clanger of Soul? This could be good. Let's do it. Let's go in the Clanger of Soul. It's going to raise all of our stats up. But there we go. Perfect. But we're going to lose some HP for it. Oh, dude, I do not mind it at all. I do not mind it at all, baby. 
There we go. He's caught in a sticky web. His speed's gonna drop. We're gonna outspeed here. We're gonna outspeed. We're gonna raise all of our stats here. Let's go, baby. I think it takes out like um maybe a quarter of our health. About, but look at this, dude. Beautiful play call by me. I saw him either swap out or not even doing a lot of damage to us. Every single stat is up, but he's gonna go into Icicle Spear, so I don't know if we should actually, what's it called? Look at that, the, fr the Throat Spray actually raised our, what's it called? Our special attack. So look at our stats. Let me go into our stats real quick. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Merkin right here. Um, What's the plan? What's the play call? Do we go into Clanker Scales? This could be go. This, I mean, this could be a good call, but I think hard swapping out into our Gyarados could be even better. Because I know he's going to go for that Icicle. I know he's going to go for that, uh, what's it called, that Icicle Spear and just hit us five times. He's probably, what's it called? Skill, what is it? Skill Link? Is that what it's called? His ability to make him hit five times? But I say we do this and then we go into a D-Dance. We're going to intimidate him, drop his attack. Beautiful. Beautiful, yo, we playing this nicely. We playing this nicely. We should be able to eat these up. No problem. No problem. Then I say we go straight into a D-Dance. Call his withdrawal into the, what's it called? He's going to go into the... Uh, what do we, are we sure we D-Dance here? Do we D-Dance? That is a tough call. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Because this thing can actually take us out here. We're going to go straight into the crunch. We're going to go straight into the crunch. Start doing some damage. I can see him withdrawing. Let's see. No, he's not going to withdraw. He's going to go straight for that, what's it called? Oh, dude, that did nothing. He's going to take us out here. Icicle Spear's going to pop off here and take us out. Dang you, that did so much more damage than I would think it does. Like, look, they're all not very effective, but it still takes me out below half. Like, dude, it's absolutely murking me. I think he has one more hit after this, right? Or do we eat this up? Damn, like, look at that. That's unreal. That is unreal. Okay. What's the plan? What's the plan? Oh, why don't we go into a Gravantula? Why don't we go into a Gravantula? We will outspeed here. We're going to go straight into a Thunder on this Grand Branch. I can see a hard swapping. I don't know why I didn't go into my Grand Branch in the beginning. I just feel like this thing would have soaked up the hits. Do we go Energy Ball or do we go Thunder? Ooh, we. Special Defense it can lower. This could lead them with a Paralyze. We're going to go straight for a Thunder. We will outspeed. No prob, no biggie. I can see him possibly Dynamaxing. He's going to withdraw. Okay, that's fine by me. He's going to go back into his Ferrothorn, which again is fine by me. Oh no, he's going to go into Rotom. Wow. Oh, Tom. Let's go. Hit him with that thunder. We should still be able to outspeed. I think Gravantula is faster than the what's it called? The Rotom? Will we get the Paralyze off? No Paralyze. And everything's not very effective. And he's going to go straight for a fire move. Our Gyarados is dead. We're Focus Ash. We are Focus Ash. I believe we do outspeed. I believe our Dynamax Konamo could do some mean work. What else we got? Mm. I don't know. This is just such a tough call here. I don't want to hard swap out. And just start taking damage. I think we're just going to let this thing die out. Do what it can. Maybe potentially get a Paralyze on this thing. And then roll into our Chronomo. And possibly just sweep. That's the plan. He's going to go for a Volt Switch. That's fine. He's going to go into his Ferrothorn. Which is fine by me. I think he thought I was swapping out. I think he thought that I was going to swap out. But he's going to go into his... uh, What's it called? His Ferrothorn. Which is fine. Actually, that's better for us. I thought he was going to go straight for a Fire Move. And take us out. That's fine. Ferrothorn's going to pop out here. What you want? He's going to get caught in the sticky web. Hey, he's slow already, so it's no big deal. Thunder's going to come out here. Do some work. Can we get the Paralyze? Show me the Paralyze. This won't do too much damage to him. But I'm hoping we get the Paralyze. Yes! Yes, baby! There we go. Beautiful. And what is he rocking? What is that? His leftovers? He's probably leftovers. Yeah, he's the leftovers Ferrothorn right here. And we will outspeed. And we're going to go straight into a Bug Buzz here. Do a little bit more damage. We should be able to soak up a hit from him. I can see him planting a, a Leech Seed here. But Bug Buzz is going to pop off here. Let's go. Do some damage. Nice. Nice. Leech Seed is going to come from him. And we're going to drop his special defense. Yep. Yep. Like I said, dude, these are just, you're just too easy to read, buddy. You're just too easy to read. You were seeded. But luckily, his special defense did drop. We should be able to get two hits off on this thing before it even takes us out. So we could potentially take out this Ferrothorn and just roll out and sweep it with the what's it called? With the uh, Konamo, because his stats are all through the roof right here. And we still have our Dynamax, so here we go. The Sticky Web is still here, so we're going to outspeed everything. He's going to protect. Oh, dude, this hunk of junk, man. Just soaking up health. Just soaking up the hits and all that stuff, which is smart. Smart play call by this guy. He's just getting leftovers and leech seed. Bring us down, and he's just gonna smack us up next turn. It's fine. It's fine. Again, no big deal. We're just gonna go straight into the Dynamax next turn. Only thing I gotta worry about is really that Cloyster. I think we can one tap everything. I'm not gonna lie. I think we can do some work. Hey, Bug Buzz coming out here. We'll do decent amount of damage. Bring him down to the yellow. No problem. No problem. But then this thing will take us out. 
Let's go bug buzz. Unless we crit. That would be beautiful. Where this thing misses. There we go. Bring him down to the yellow. Oh, he's paralyzed, baby. He's paralyzed. He's going to go into a protect. And I think we can take him out even, even if he goes for the protect. Like, after that. We'll see. We will see. What is this guy going to do? It's going to be close. It's going to be real close. Come on. Show me the takeout. No, no. No way we're going to be able to take him out even if he protects. Ugh. That's exactly what he's going to do. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to go for a protect. And I'm just going to leech see the leftovers. <laughs> ah, dude. It's so much fun when you are doing that. But when you're on the other side, you're like, bruh, just play the game. <laughs> Like, you guys know what I'm saying. It is so annoying. Don't you dare tell me that takes us out. Okay, we get one last hit on him. We get one last hit. Hopefully he is paralyzed. It's fine, dude. Our Konoma will eat this thing up. I don't even think we go into a, what's it called? A flamethrower if we do pop off on this thing. Take it out. Nope. Close, man. Close. He's going to throw another leech seed. Which is fine by me. I don't even know why he did that. I don't even know why he did that. He's just trying to eat us up. But he is paralyzed, which is fine. The Leech Seed will take us out. Give us a kill. Um, I believe he's going to... What's it called? Does that Leech Seed go away now? Or is it for all my Pokemon? I'm not too sure. But we're going to go into the Konamo. And even if he protects, we're going to take him out with our Dynamax here. We're going to set a Drought. We're going to set a nice little Drought here. Which could be nice. Potentially better for the other Pokemon. Actually, not really, but... I, I say we don't go into a flamethrower just in case he goes out. No, we have to go into a max flare. We have to go into a max flare, take this thing out, because I think this thing's possibly going for a protect. He's going to go for a protect, I believe, and this will actually hit through the protect and take it out because it is super effective and we can do some work. Plus, I think, yeah, we will outspeed the Cooister, no problem. Possibly take him out with one max worm win. Actually, I don't know. If he Dynamaxes with the Cloyster, that would be a smart play to Dynamax with the Cloyster. But we are chilling, dude. We are absolutely chilling. Let's see. We Yeah, we will take him out here. Eat that up, boy. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, little boy. See you later. Barathorn. I don't even know what he's going for. He was probably going for a lead seed. Trying to set that up for his teammates. But we can set the drought. This match is going the distance, baby. It is going the distance. We got a long match going here. But I feel like we're playing it right. I feel like we are playing it right. We set up a lot. The only bad call that we made was putting in that Gyarados over that Galvantula against the... Um, but I think the Galvantula would have died. To, the, to one of his Icicle Spears. Here comes the Rotom. Rotom is going to pop out. Is our stats still up? Let's see. Ah, oh, dude. How did they go down so quickly, man? We're going to go into a max. Or do we go in? No. We got to go into a max. Worm win right here. Possibly take this thing out. No, we will not outspeed it, I don't think. I don't think we will outspeed it. But this thing cannot do too much work. I think it might put a burn on us. Let's see. This thing could outspeed us. It thinks that our stats are gone already. He's got a T-Bolt. We'll eat that up. We'll eat it up. And we got to be able to take out this thing in one hit if we want to win this game. That's, that's the plan. If we want to win this game, let's go now. Let's go now, baby. Let's go. Let's go. All we have to do is eat up one hit from that Cloyster. Right? Yeah, we're going to get this Max Worm went off. And then we're going to go into... We just got to eat up one hit, which I think we can. This Cloyster is going to get that sticky web on him. He's going to Dynamax. Go into a Max Hailstorm. His speed is down. We will outspeed this thing. We're going to go into another Max Worm. Do we raise our defense here? Lower the target attack. Let's do it. Let's go into this move right here. Max Wormwind once again. He's going to Dynamax. We will outspeed. Hopefully, we can deal a nice amount of damage. That is the plan. But he's going to go Max Hailstorm. You just know that it's coming. Hopefully, we can take out a ton of his health here. And then get the first hit. Now, we will get the first hit next time. We have to eat up his Max Hailstorm. That is the rules. Or we can just one tap him. How we going? How we going? Oh, dude, this guy's so smart. He's so smart. He's too smart right here. I don't think we can eat it up. I do not think we can eat up this shot. Jeez, man. Dude, I love Konamo. I don't know if we can eat this up. We gotta go into clean these scales right here. We got a one shot. Even though our defense will go down after us, we got a one shot. Like, you guys know what I'm saying? It's game if we don't take him out. Do it. Do it. Let's go. We get the crit. The crit, baby. Oh. Oh, my lord. This guy is salty. The lucky crit comes in clutch for us. I don't know if we were going to kill him either way, but woo. Woo. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. Here we go. Hopping into our second match. Coming off that big W right there. Konamo coming up clutch, dude. I think we would have killed him with or without the crit, in my opinion. But this guy's rocking a Silk Valley. Halucha. 
a Berserker, Bile Plume, Quagsire, and a Squall Vet. And the squirrel bet. Okay, who are we gonna rock out here? I think Chandelure is coming in. Yeah, Chandelure is definitely coming in. We're gonna bring our double double right here because double is a lot of fun. And he's rocking Sword Dance. We could potentially do some work on him. So double is gonna come in here. And he's rocking Zen Head. But then do we go with her Gary? I think Gary could be the play call here. Or do we not go with the Gary? We might have to go with the Konoma. Or the Grimstarl could be potentially nice with the Drain Punch. Rocking the Light Screen too. Hmm. 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 No, let's go grab Branchula. He's definitely going to rock that front spot. So we got Grab Branchla coming in here. We're going to bring Dubby Lubby Wubble right here. And Chandelure rocking it back end. Choice Scarf Chandelure. This could potentially do some work. This could potentially be huge. But there we go. Our Chandelure can do work on that Silvali. That Berserker. That Vile Plume. And then our what's called our Grab Branchla. If he rocks out with that Quagsire in the front spot. We're just going to go straight for a what's it called. An Energy Ball. We're rocking a Grass Move. Which will... Destroy that Quagsire. Just absolutely put him in the dumpster. Say night night. You're done. You're out of here. Let's go. We're rocking the W wool in the back. He's awesome. I kind of just wanted to have some fun. So I was like, yo, let's bring him in. But he's rocking with the Halucha right off the bat. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. I was going to leave with the double. That probably would have been a nice little play. But he's going to break the mold here. Do we go into the what's it called? What do we go into? Oh, dude, Thunder's super effective. Yeah, we're going right into the. Do I predict him hard swapping out? It goes straight for the energy ball. I think he's going to hard swap into the Quagsire. We're going to predict it. Here comes the prediction call. Does he hard swap into the Quagsire? Let's see, yo. Let's see. Withdraw. Come on. Show me the read. Show me the read. I am the best. I am a god. I am a god sent from the Pokemon gods. Look at that read. Know that! The reeds! The reeds, dude! He thought I was going for the thunder. I was like, nah, dude. You're switching into your Quagsire. I'm gonna roll out with the energy ball and murk you. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Now we know all three of his Pokemon. He's rocking the Sil Valley right here. We're gonna go straight into a sticky web. We're gonna go straight into a sticky web here. Oh my lord, the plays, man. The reeds! Dude, I'm hyped with that one. That was perfect. That was perfect. He's going to go into a flamethrower. We should be able to eat up at least one flamethrower, right? Nope. No, we do! Oh, we're focus ash. We're focus ash. I forgot. We are focus ash. We will be able to get another hit off on him. I think we're going to go straight into the thunder. Hmm. We could lower his special defense here. What typing is he? Let's see what typing this Pokemon is. Is he steel? I think he's part steel. No, he's just normal all around. Okay. That's fine. Um, bug buzz. What's bug buzz do? Lower special defense. Or we can go for the paralyze. Um... Let's go for the Paralyze here. Paralyze can be clutch. So we're going to go out with that. Come on. Get the Paralyze. Get the Paralyze. But yo, dude, that Quags had a read, though. Show it to me. Show it to me. Nope. Icy Wind's going to pop out here. Okay. So that's cool. We know what moves he's rocking. He's rocking a Flamethrower and an Icy Wind. And an Icy Wind. So I think Double could be the play call. So I don't care if he Flamethrowers me. My Double. Yeah, let's go into our Double. And I think we can set up a Sword Stance. Should we set up a Sword Stance? What's the call? What's the call? Or do we go into a Zen headbutt right off the bat? Hmm. I said we set up a swords. I really do say we set up the sword stance. I can see this thing potentially. What's it called? Dynamaxing. He's not. He's going to go for flamethrower. We are fluffy. We'll eat that up. Our ability is fluffy. I believe it takes down by half. Wow. And we get a sword. Dude. That thing did a lot of damage. Isn't that what fluffy does? Takes it by half? That thing still marked? Can we eat up another flamethrower? Oh, we can. We got leftovers, dog. We're rocking leftovers. We are now Sword Stance, buddy. We are now Sword Stance, which is wonderful. And we're going to go straight into a Zen Headbutt. And potentially take this thing out. Potentially take this bad boy out of here. Let's see what this thing actually does. Are you going to swap with your Halucha? He's going to Dynamax here. Um, yeah, that's going to take us out. No! Dang it, dude. Dang it, man. Are we going to blow this game? Are we going to blow this game? Well, he is going to take us out here. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. That's fine. We still have our uh, Chandelure, who's an absolute unit. Who's an absolute unit. I can see him winning this game for us. He's going to go into a Max Flare, which is fine. That will take us out. No problem. A right, bye bye double. W double. We're going to roll into our Chandelure here. But we are. He did set up a drought for us, which is nice. Our Chandelure can do some work. We are Choice Scarf, too, in the end. So we can go into our Chandelure, roll out into a Max Flare, and then soak up his. 
If he wants to roll a max fire, that's fine. He is rocking Icy Wind, but dude, we, we will eat up an Icy Wind. Um, okay. Yeah, that's the play call. That's the play call. Go straight into the Dynamax. Say, here we go. I could roll in with a trick, depending on what items are rocking. I don't know what item that, uh, what's it called is rocking. I could trap that, uh, Halucha into a Choice Scarf, but that, I don't think that would be good. I don't think that would be good. But we're going to Dynamax here. Get this Flamethrower off. I can see it taking it out. I can see it taking it out. But I this Silbali should outspeed my Chandelure. Chandelure's rather a slow Pokemon. He's rather a slow Pokemon. Unless this is a faster one. But this, yeah. See, Silbali should go. And Max Lightning. Jesus. Eat it, buddy. He eats it up. Let's go, boo. But we do have the Drought. The Drought is going to do work on him. The Drought. I think it's going to take him out with the Drought. Because Fire moves are boosted here. So let's go. Let's get it. Max Flare coming out here. And we still have the Sticky Web in effect, which will actually go off on that. What's it called? That Halucha dropping its speed, which is beautiful. And we still have two more Dynamax turns, baby. Let's go, dude. That Quagsire read off the bat, I think it saved us. I think it saved us. That Quagsire could have ran us. Could have ran us. But hopefully a Sticky Web actually uh, lowers this guy's uh, speed. And we can be able to outspeed us. Speed him. But he's going to break the mold. A sick web's not on the field anymore. What you mean? Uh, Max Flare's gonna come back out. Or do we drop his uh, defense here? Hmm. What's the call? Because we have two turns here. We do have two turns. We can actually drop his defense. But, oh no. Defense wouldn't do anything. We are special attacking. Well, let's go into a Max Flare. Do we outspeed? No. Brave Bird. Wow. Wow. We have to take him out here. We have to take... Oh. Jeez, dude. That recoil damage might end that life orb. Come on. Take him out. Let's go, Shandle. Take him. Let's go. Let's go, baby. That is how it is done. That Quagsire read off the bat probably saved us. Probably saved us, but Shandalord does come in clutch in the end. And we get a win with our double in the team. <laughs> Who is next? Who is next? Who wants the sauce from jeans? <laughs> here we go. Hopping into our third match right here. This guy is rocking a Rotom Wash, Token Kiss, Dragapult, Barathorn, Exit Drill, and a Drag... Or not Dragapult, a... He is rocking a Dragon Ball and a Hydreigon at the bottom. We're definitely going to be bringing our Grimmsnarl and our Gyarados is going to be in here. Or do we go Konomo? -O? Yeah, let's go Konomo instead of the uh, Gyarados. Gyarados can sit out this round. He can sit out this round. And then Gravantula. Give me no reason not to roll out with my boy Gravantula in the front spot. Konomo -O coming in. And then uh, Grimmsnarl. Let's roll. Let's roll out here, dude. Gravantula. Dude, he's so good, man. He is so good. Oh, my lord. He's like, uh, like I was saying, like, he's one of my favorite Pokemons. Like, I just have, like, a list of, like, top tier Pokemon I like. Like, Excadrill's up there. Gravantula. I like those kind of Pokemon. I don't know how to explain it, but I just like those kinds. I know there's a couple others. I just can't think of them off the top of my head. But once I see them, I'm like, dude, I love this Pokemon. Like, <laughs> but he's going to start off with the Rotom. Oh, like, Toxapec is one of them. There we go. Now, this is, I don't know. Just something about Ferrothorn's up there for me. I like them all. I like them all. But we're going to start off with this, uh, Energy Ball. Popping out in, in here. Um... Let's see what he does. I see, I see him probably going for the Volt Switch, which is fine. I probably should just uh, set up the Sticky Web. Oh, we outspeed! This thing rocking a Focus Ash? Ew! Nice little damage. What's this thing going to go for? It's going to go for a Hydro Pump. What are you doing, dog? What are you doing? Oh! What? Is this thing Life Orb? This thing did some work. But we will outspeed. We will be able to take it out here. I think I'm just going to go straight for a Bug Buzz. I think Buzz, Bug Buzz will take it out either way. Right? Wait, is this Rotom's uh, minus one on the special defense? No, he's not. He's not. Do we go for the Bug Buzz in case we see the hard swap? We will outspeed. We will outspeed. I think he's predicting us going into... We're going to go for the Bug Buzz. Yeah, Bug Buzz should be able to take it out. Yeah, see, there is the withdrawal. He, he thought I was going for the Energy Ball. That is why I went for the Bug Buzz. To potentially get some more damage on something else like this Hydreigon right here. We're going to go for the Bug Buzz. Let's go. Bug Buzz comes out here. Does... A little bit of damage. It's super effective. Beautiful. What the... Let's go. The reeds. What a read. Let's go. Do we go for another bug buzz? I think we set up this sticky web. Well, he's rocking two levitate Pokemon. He is rocking two levitate Pokemon. I can see him hard swapping out again or canceling this battle. We're going to go straight into the sticky web. He does outspeed us. This thing could be choice scarf. I think this thing is choice scarf. So he is stuck in the dark pulse, I believe. Because our Garvantula is really fast. He's very fast Pokemon. And now we can roll out into the... If he's just going to go for a Dark Pulse, we might as well go into the Grim Snarl. And roll right into the Drain Punch. Get some health back and all that good stuff. Or we could set up the uh, Light Screen. 
I think the light screen would be the play. Set up the light screen. Let's go for it. Let's set up the light screen here. I can see him Dynamaxing, trying to take me out here. Actually, no, he's going to save his Dynamax for his last Pokemon. Or he might forfeit the Choice Scarf, but the light screen is going to pop off here. Let's see. If he goes for another Dark Pulse, he has Choice Scarf. He's going to go for the Dynamax. Like I said, wow, we should have just took him out. We should have just took him out. This could be dangerous for us, but I think we're fine. I think we are chilling here, even if he does Dynamax. He has his Rotom low health. He has his uh, Hydreigon low health right here. Dang, I should have just took it out. I thought he wasn't Dynamaxing, considering how low of health he was. But he's going to look for the one-shot here. He's going to look for the one-shot. Do we outspeed him? Let's see. We do outspeed him. Beautiful. Get this light screen up. Just what I wanted. But now that we know that we do outspeed him, we should be able to eat up this shot of a Max Flutterby. Eat it, buddy. Eat it. Yes, sir. Waste your Dynamax, stupid. Now we're going to go straight into a Drain Punch. He's going to drop our special attack, which is fine. Aren't we a physical attacker? Yeah, dude, we physical attack. We're gonna go straight into a drain punch. Outspeed this bad boy. Outspeed him. See you later. Your Dynamax wasted. In the trash can. Done. See you later. Out of here. Bye. <laughs> Yo, dude, we are rocking out with this team, y'all. I'm loving it so much. This thing outsped us. How did it outspeed us the second time? Should be able to eat it up, dude. The light screen, dude. That was a beautiful setup, dude. That light screen is a beaut. Is a beaut. He's gonna set a drought, which I don't mind. We have our Konoma with a flamethrower, and we eat our citrus berry. Forgot about that. Since Brady's gonna pop out, heal us up here, and we'll be able to do some absolute work with this Drain Punch. Take him out here and his Dynamax, and we still have our Light Screen for another three turns. Three turns. Because he is not Light Clay. Light Clay puts it up to eight turns, I believe. Seven or eight turns, but regular is just five turns, which we are doing. So five turns right here. We still have three turns left. So if he's rocking the Rotom, that special attack, we can eat up a shot from him. He's done. Just, what's his last Pokemon? Let's see. see. I think he's going back into the Rotom. Rotom's going to pop out here. We can eat up a shot. No problem. We're going to go into a Drain Punch here and get some health back. No problem. Bolt Switch. We'll eat it up. Drain Punch coming out here. Look at it. Eat it up. That, that might be physical attack. That one might be. I'm not too positive. I'm not too positive. But we still have two more turns left in the right light screen. And we have our Dynamax for our Konomo if we want to use it. Let's see, what's he going to roll out into the Dragon Ball? Oh yeah, we totally saving it for the, what's called, the Konomo. It doesn't affect him. That's bogus. This thing is physical attacking. We got to go for a Spirit Break. We got to go for a Spirit Break. Hopefully we can get a nice little shot off here, but we still have our Dynamax. And we can take out that Dragon Ball in one shot. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Let's see what he goes through. He goes for the U-turn. So we should be able to eat that up. Like I said, dude, look at all the shots we we're eating up from that light screen. And we could possibly take out the what's called here. The Rotom. We could take out the Rotom here. Let's see. Come on. Show me taking out the Rotom. Should have went for the Drain Punch. That would have been beaut. That would have been a beaut. Take him out. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Woo! <laughs> Dude. This team, man. This team. I've been playing so well. Especially when I'm recording all that. I've been playing so well. It's awesome. We're actually pushing Ultra Ball tier. I think one or two more wins will be an Ultra Ball tier. Here he goes. Rolling out in that. I'm just going to go straight for a Spirit Break. He's probably going to go for something to take us out. Maybe Dragon Darts. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what he's going to go for. Or is he going to scoop? I can see him scooping. We still have a whole other Pokemon. And a Dynamax. I could Dynamax here and just end him. Let's see. He's going to go for the Fire Blast. With the Drought. That will take us out. Yep. There it is. Takes us out. It got a crit. It got a crit. Okay, that's fine. That's fine by me. Okay, we had our crit luck earlier, so that's fine. Light screen does wear off. We're going to go into the Konamo here. Going to go into a... If this thing's just not rocking a Focus Sash, it's game over. It is game over. But what? Dragapult rocks a Focus Sash. None of them. None of them. <laughs> the Konamo's going to pop out here. We're going to Dynamax. Big Dragon Scaly, dude. You know what's weird? Is he the only dragon with scales? That's my question. Does any other dragon have scales? Like most like dragons, they have scales. Except for in Pokemon. Most dragon types don't have scales. <laughs> it's weird, but it's cool. But here we go. Popping off here. We should be able to eat up. He's going to outspeed us. No problem. He's going for a Shadow Ball. And we're bulletproof. Does not affect us because that is a ball move. Let's go, Max Wormin. GG, baby. GG. Bye bye. Oh, he is Focus Sash. Yo, this, this thing is Focus Sash. I was just saying, like, what Dragon Ball is Focus Sash? But he wasted his turn. He wasted his turn. That's game anyway. He went for the what's it called? He went for the uh, Shadow Ball and we were bulletproof. He's going to go for a Draco Meteor and he misses. Ah, what a 
nerd. <laughs> Let's go, GG baby. But yo, I was just saying, I was like, what Dragon Ball is Focus Ash? Here it comes. This guy's rocking the Focus Ash on his Dragon Ball. But yo, GG, let's go. Let's hop into the fourth and final battle for this video. Fourth and final battle coming at you guys. We actually just ranked up to tier nine, baby. Let's get it. This guy's rocking a Mimikyu, Haxorus, Whimsicott, that SQ. Ooh, ooh, we Tox Pack and a Pult, you guys. And a Pult, you guys. Um, we're gonna have to roll out with a special attacker for that SQ. I can see him possibly leading that SQ. So we are definitely bringing in our, who are we bringing in? We're bringing in our Chandler. I think we might, do we lead with the Chandler? What happens if he leads with the, uh, what's it called? What happens if he leads with that Tox spec? That is the scary part. I think we lead with, uh, do we lead with Gravy? Gravantula? Oh, dude, no, I cannot. I cannot lead with the Gravantula. We're gonna need something to take him out with special attack. That is the plan. I think we're gonna lead with the Chandler. We can always swap out easily. If he is going into that Toxic Pack, which is fine. So we're going to go uh, Chandelor in the front spot. Then we're going to roll out with Konamo'o in the back end. Chandelor. Do we go Gary? Do we go Gary? I think we go Gary here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Chandelor, roll out, buddy. Roll out. I hope he goes with that SQ right off the bat. That would be beautiful. So what the SQs like to do, I don't know if I said this already, but SQs always like to start off. They go into a belly drum. They usually eat a berry and then take the first hit with their ice head. But if you're a special attacker, it goes right through it. It's only for physical attack moves the Ice Head works. And then they usually, if they set up the Belly Drum, their attack stats, plus 6 or plus 5, whatever the max is. Let's see. Wait, I want to see who he leads. Show me the SQ. Show it to me. The Pulte guys. Ah! The Pulte guys does come out here. And we are rocking Chewy Scarf. We might be able to one-tap this thing. We are Chewy Scarf. But like I was saying, with the SQs, they, what's it called? They go into, what's it called? Dynamax, they use Max Hailstorm, and then their Ice Head refreezes over. But we are truly Scarf. I don't think he knows that. I don't think he knows that. And we're going to probably one-tap this fool. See ya! Oh, he's focused. He's focused. Is he going to one-tap us is the question. But we drop his special defense, which is not a big deal. He might. He's going to go for a Shell Smash. That's fine, dude. You are dead. Your, smell shas, your, sm your Shell Smash is worthless. He's going to raise his uh, speed and all that. We have to go for yet another Shadow Ball. Dude, he thinks he's out us. We are Choice Scarf, buddy. We are Choice Scarf. We are Choice Scarf. Go ahead. Think that you are outspeeding me. I dare you, buddy. You are outspeeding me. Wow. Oh, bat Baton Pass just goes first, I believe. Does he know we are Choice Scarf? Is the real question. Let's see who he goes out into. Shin lower with the lead. Shin lower with the lead. Who you going out into? He's going out into the Haxorus, baby. Shiny. That thing is one of the coolest looking shinies. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. But we are Choice Scarf. We should be able to get two hits on this thing. Let's see how much damage we do to this thing. Chandler rocking out here. Bill. See ya. Oh, jeez, man. Jeez, Chandler is going to run this, dog. Chandler. <laughs> Got someone down the one. And now, who's his last Pokemon? Oh, my God. Did we even have to change Pokemon? We haven't even taken a hit, man. Who's he going to go out into? He's going to go out into the Mimikyu, which is shiny also. That thing's beautiful. You know what we're rocking out into? Another super effective Shadow Ball. Why is he? Why is his whole team so, or super effective to Shadow Ball? Like, it's like, what is going on? He's going to disguise this up, which is fine. Which is fine. Disguise takes that up. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Our Shadow just running. If we eat up this hit, it is game set match. I, oh my lord, oh my lord, we're Dynamaxing, we're Dynamaxing. <laughs> Does he know that we're rocking Shadow Ball? Does he know that we're rocking Shadow Ball? Like, what do you think? I, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Let's go, we're both gonna Dynamax here. I, if we, I think this thing will outspeed us, because once we Dynamax, we forfeit our choice Scarf. For those next three turns, while we're Dynamax, we do not have the choice Scarf, but... Only reason I did Dynamax is I think we're gonna actually dude this might have been a bad play call. This might have been a bad play call by jeans here. Let's see, let's see. He's not Dynamaxing! And he's shot! Oh my lord, that is the game! That is the game. He's dead. He's dead. The Pulte guys is gonna pop out. It will outspeed us, take out our Chandelure. He still has his Dynamax with it though. He still has his Dynamax with it, but I see us eating up a shot with our Gyarados. Simple, simple, beautiful plays. The beaut is ripping off the bat, right off the bat. Uh, we max guard here. Do we max guard here? 
I think this thing thinks he's gonna outspeed us, so we're not gonna max guard and try to waste his Dynamax turn. I don't think he goes into a Dynamax. Oh! <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he knew it was over. He didn't even go into a Dynamax. That's GG. Let's go, dude. Chandelure sweep, baby. Sweep with the Chandelure. Let's go, dude. That's how it's done, dude. This team was a lot of fun. That is how it's done, guys. We absolutely murked with this team right here. Here's one last look at the team. If you would like to run it yourself, rental code is down at the bottom. I'm also going to be leaving a link to the maker of this team in the description below. But here's one last look. Like I said, you got that fluffy double right here, which we used a little bit. He was fun to use. We had the Grimstar, that Galvancho, who was clutch, dude. So good. Chandler ended up having to sweep characters, played a little role, and her Konamo oh, absolutely murked. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to support the channel by smashing that like button for me and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. You guys have no idea. But also, let me know in the comment section down below what other teams or Pokemon would you like to see me play. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.